Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Welcome back. No current stipulation. We're going to try to deny them some mana if that's an option, if it's open. Um... It definitely, definitely don't got to take no treasure cruise. Uh, I kind of just want to take Nicol Bolas. This is not a great pack. You are correct. I also like Stoneforge Mystic. Maybe. Oh, wow. Didn't mean to pick that, but here we are. That was a weird little finger slipperino. That's what they used to call me in college. The old finger slipperino. I mean, to be fair, Stoneforge was definitely one of my one of my uh, options, one of the options I was weighing. I like Factor Fiction here. I would not admit to that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm going to add this Michael Scott I am dead inside to my... I like Factor Fiction. I like staying white for just Elspeth here. I think the white black decks are really good. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Elspeth here. Sword of Body and Mind is pretty solid. Don't care about Blight Steel. I think we're just taking Sword of Body and Mind because we have a Stone Forge already. And it's one of my favorite swords. Inspector Gadget, go Gadget, go! Florida orange pajama step. I have no idea what that means. Plateau, polluted Delta, Sphinx's Rev, Inferno Titan. Well, I don't think it's Fairgrounds Warden here, guys. I'll be honest with you. Guess I should make it to Thwok. Do you guys not live together? Gamma Set and Thwok. Sword of Feast and Famine is also pretty good. Might just be Sword of Feast and Famine, although I really don't like passing a Delta, especially if we do... I'm a really big fan of the Black-White deck. I think the Black-White deck is always pretty sweet. I'm going to take Delta because I think the other one has a way bigger chance of tabling. I'm also going to take a Giver of Runes. <sighs> that seems good. Because we're not black yet. Florida orange pajamas. Oh, you're. Oh, I see what you did there. Because of the A's. Because of because I say Florida instead of Florida, and I say orange instead of orange. And do people say what do you say? Do people say pajamas or pajamas? Jam or jam? Because it's got jam in the word. It's not J-O-M. It's not pajamas. Right? Right? I say pajamas. <laughs> that's a late-ass... That's a late-ass Primeval Titan. And if Rob is here, you take the Savannah. I mean, taking this kind of ruins this. But good lord, like, it's Primeval Titan. What's the other pick? There's nothing in this pack that I even care about nearly as much as this Primeval Titan. <sighs> Wall of Omens sucks in a Stoneforge Mystic Elspeth deck. I think it's Ravenous Chupacabra. I don't love it, but... Eh, Linvala's not terrible. Actually, I like Gonti. If we're going black, I like Gonti a lot. I'll put you over here. Man, look at that. The Avalanche Rider came back. And thankfully, Crutch Jr., this is the only uh, land destruction we've seen, so. I mean, and, and Fields of the Dead, I guess, but you're in the same pack, so. 
These picks have not been strong. Maybe we're Abzan. Oh, Vraska seems good here. Let's take a Vraska. Let's just try to be Abzan. Shielder it? Alright. Alright, we're Abzan and guys. Unfortunately, we did not get our Savannah, but what can you do? Uh, Reginald? Reginald! You can take a Fairgrounds Warden for the board. You've been given no good direction from these. Yeah, these packs have not been ideal. We're definitely taking, like, the lessest of two evils. Whatever that means. We all got some weird words. I catch my Midwestern accent sometimes when I'm saying toasted. Y'all want y'all want your subs toasted? Yeah, we're definitely opening blue power next. Just drafting good cards so far. Not a cohesive deck. Yeah, I agree with that. Ophiomancer is nice, especially if we're going to uh, play some equipment. This is double green, so I'm steering clear, even though this is a six drop double green card. The difference is I think Primeval Titan is... Uh, worth splashing for double double green. Yeah, this is pretty comical because all of these cards are legal in Modern Cube. <laughs> Including Stoneforge Mystic currently. Alright, this is another trash pack. That's pretty sad. Acidic Slime. I think it's just Baneslayer Angel. God, I really wish I got that Savannah. Yeah, there's no lands, there's nothing. This is really... This pack is terrible. <sighs> Tireless Tracker. Godless Shrine is probably pretty good, especially if we have Pluto Delta. Yeah, I like Godless Shrine a lot. But my dreams, they are as empty as Mike's father seems to be. <laughs> Mike B's dad's a deadbeat. Concealed Court Mana Vault. That's an early, that's a late, early, late Mana Vault. I think we're just taking Mana Vault here. Blooming Marsh is fine, but it's not great. And almost right. Oh, Demonic Tutor. We're going to take Demonic Tutor over Blooming Marsh for sure. Yeah, Demonic Tutor is basically like low tier power. These packs have not been great. I mean,. We're making we're making do. I think Gideon's fine here. Yeah, mana vault into tutors are great, but they're not really great for like we're not they're not really like great strategies for us, if you know what I mean. Like they're just kinda like, oh mana vault, cool, we can ramp into like a Gideon. Like it's not broken, it's just powerful. I think we just take Kaya. Kaya seems good in this cube. Being able to exile like lots of one one or zero mana things. Telling only lies. Remember when I said I can't wait to lose to Bribery or Emrakul? I suck so much, Jesus, dude. Yeah, that was, that was good. That was good. Task one, I feel like that was your claim to fame. Live it up, my friend. Live it up.
Garrick, Lyra. Could just be ultimate price. Like, we don't have a ton of removal. We already have a Bane Slayer Angel. I think we're just taking the ultimate price here. We are trying to minimize the number of green cards we play. Right now we only have three, which is fine. Is there some kind of boxing match or UFC thing tonight? My downstairs neighbors are bellowing at the TV, which is already at deafening volumes. You know, I don't know. I bet in about 15 minutes or 10 minutes, Mike is going to message me and be like, hey, man, you want to play some Fallen Order tonight? And I'm going to be like, yeah, man, let's do it. And then we'll play some Fallen Order. Ooh, a Sun Titan. I do like Sun Titan here a lot. Yeah, let's Sun Titan. We can build around a Sun Titan. That's pretty gas. Oh, we already got a fetch land. Meyer isn't anywhere fixing the Pluto Delta. And so I'm not really super. Cynic Slime is good, but another double green card. I'm trying to minimize the double green cards, not add more of them. Wow, Watery Grave? Is that how you going to be? I am one Titan short of the Abzan set. This guy's kind of like a, an Abzan Titan. I think I just want Selfless Spirit, though, actually. Actually, Mask Arm's pretty busted. I'll take the Mask Arm for the sideboard. Wow. Wulamog, huh? Living End? Living Death, rather. I should go to bed, but I want a cube. Buddy, that's the story of my life. I want to take Wulamog because he's just so strong, but I don't think we're an Wulamog deck. I think we're... I think Damnation's probably fine. Actually, let's take Living Death. What the hell? Oh, Blooming Marsh came back. And also Banishing Light. I'll take the Blooming Marsh, because I think we just need fixing that badly. I'll also take Necromancy. And Ink Eyes. Sure. Uh, Alright, all these cards are mildly playable. Ink Eyes, unexpectedly absent. Finally, Soul Ring. Mana Drain's also sick, but we're clearly not playing Mana Drain, guys. We're definitely taking Soul Ring. Not really close. Turning on the lights. Marsh Flats is pretty nice. We do want a green land here, though. Hero of Bladehold is also pretty busted, but I think Hero of Bladehold has a better chance of coming back than Marsh Flats, and I think we need the Marsh Flats more right now. Oh, man, that Sylvan Library Mind Slave return was insane, dude. I wish I had a clip of that. It's chick who made us battle cry. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> the fire's in your eyes, and we found a batter skull with Stoneforge. Because we found a batter skull with Stoneforge. Not close. Oh, a Jitte, too? Oh, snap. I think we take the Jitte. Oh, Verdant Catacombs, though. God dang. Ugh. Is it time to cut green yet? Not really. I mean, if we cut green, like, we have no reason to cut green. Maybe, maybe we have a reason to cut green. I don't know. It's like the, the problem is if we cut green, we only have 17 playables. We need six more playables, which is a lot. The Verdant Catacombs is never coming back. I think Jitte has a higher chance of coming back. So I'm going to take the Verdant Catacombs. People don't respect equipment or Jitte's.
Alesh Norn. How many Praetors can we have? Land tax is interesting. I think we I think we take the Alesh Norn with both Mana Vault and Soul Ring here. I think we're actually a deck that Fucking mind twist, boy! Oh, shoot. I want this shambling vent, but I'm gonna take a... What is that, like a 21 plus 14, 36 pick mind twist? That's pretty insane. Sure, dudes. I'll take a 6 pick mind twist. I actually like Caracas here. Yeah, I'll take a Caracas. That's just a land I'll play. We can bounce our own Gonti. We can bounce our own... Eleshnorn or Shielder if they get if they get hit. Manamorphose. What's Manamorphose gonna do? <laughs> Manamorphose isn't gonna fix our mana because green is our splash. So if we have our green, it's very likely that we already have our black. <laughs> Oh, you right. <laughs> yeah, that's like, yeah, so it's like... Because green is our splash, so our odds of having green is uh, is the low thing. But once we have it, we're good, so... I don't think it's worm coil. I think we're just taking the go for the throat here. I just want to have more removal. This deck is weird. It only has 10 creatures, but, like, they're pretty good. And we have a bunch of cool planeswalkers like Kaya, Elspeth, Raska, and Gideon. We also have Mind Twist with two really powerful mana rocks. We also have a Demonic Tutor, Stoneforge with two equipment. Batterskull is also a creature. So Gideon, Batterskull, and Elspeth are also kind of like creatures. So we have like 13 creatures. It's not terrible. Council's Judgment is great. I like it significantly better than Anguished Unmaking. So I'm going to take that. I'm still viewing? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? I don't even know what that means. Is this a cue where you take it, you play it, Stip can work? I don't know. Even if it is, I'm not sure if I love that stipulation. Because then you're just forced to play like 45 cards or something ridiculous. I think Gideon's fine. Might even be main deckable here. Might even be main deckable over Kai. Oh, Ravage's War. <laughs> uh, Resto seems great here with Choops, Gonti, Stoneforge. Yeah, let's take Resto here. Now we can start to make some decent... Oh, we could have got Armageddon and Ravage's War. Crutch Jr., I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, Tidal Scholar's not even terrible. Maybe we do cut the green at this point. Actually... I think we can cut green here. Like, we just get rid of Raska, Maelstrom, Pulse, and Primeval Titan? Like... It's actually not bad. We can even, like, bring in Masquerum? Just for, just for the lulls? Jesus, I'm laughing at this freaking gift that Mike's just sent. Marsh isn't fetchable? Blooming Marsh? No. So Godless, Caracas, Marsh. I guess Verdant. Need one cut, huh? I can see cutting Tide Hollow's color, but... I 
We have a good time. Uh, no, I think sword just wins you the games. I, I don't think cutting... I, I, if this was any other sword, I'd probably cut it, but Body and Mind is, doesn't have to be just a sideboard card. It just wins you the games. Plus, like, I, I don't want... I want to have two targets for Stoneforge, so... She's, what, a 1-2? Yeah, I guess you're right. I feel like we can cut one of the Praetors. I don't know if that's correct, though. Especially with these two. I'm just going to play 41, man. I don't even care. I don't even care. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 5, 6, 7, 8. Done. Record. You mean the record when we're still building our deck? It is 0-0. Oh, oh, zero, zero. Snap keep. <laughs> yeah, Delta still got shrine, but like I don't want to have three fetch lands. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <sighs> oh wow. But by council's judgment. Bane Slayer one time. Okay, it's not Bane Slayer per se, but Get it. Oh, I like that. just mind twist their hand away <laughs> did they play a land yeah they did okay it's either mind twist or we can actually get like shield red and play shield red next turn what seems better jeez Mind twist seems eh? Interesting. Hmm. I think it's shoulder, because if they play something next turn, it's really, really good. The problem is if they discard any land, then they're just getting that back with a Ren and Six, so they're only losing two cards. I, I just don't think. Plus, like if, if their if their hand is one land, one creature, then Shoulder is gonna take care of the creature and Ren and Six is gonna take care of the land, so it's not really even that great. But they don't believe in playing creatures, so. true that is true yep you got it it's 
that's actually pretty decent. Ooh, brutal. Nope. I thought this was negative eight. That's pretty terrible. Well, they still have to have lands. So actually, I don't know. I think we're still fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shieldred land. Yeah, I don't know how the red deck deals with this. Even if they have like double, if they have two lands in hand, they can go burst lightning with kicker one, two, three. No, they can't do that. Okay. Yeah, shoulder pretty much wins against any sort of damage based removal deck that has already used a lot of their damage based removal. So that's pretty cool. I kind of like Vampire Hexmage here. Hmm. Um, all right, now we'll take Sword out. Take Gideon Blackblade out. Actually, Gideon seems pretty decent. Jeez, uh, our deck seems good. Like, I like all the cards in our deck. Lodestone? What does Lodestone do? Lodestone seems terrible for us. It seems worse for us than for our opponent. I'll take out Tide Hollow Skuller, actually, because, like, they have a lot of... We saw Chain Lightning and we saw Burst Lightning, so I'm not really convinced they don't have a way to kill that dude. Let's twist again, like we did last year. I like it. I think we run out of duress first. I'll protect our little. Hmm. Oh, Ren and Six, and no black source. Okay. Seem a good. All right, so forest gone. So they can play Plague Crafter if they draw a swamp. Yep, they drew a swamp. <laughs> Inquisition, get Vampire Hex Mage. So you know, Plague Crafter, Mountain Pelucra. Now, so let's see if you also drew. A burn spell. If you're, if you're, yeah, let's see if your draw was burn spell swamp. Doesn't look like it. Wow, that's good. Well, I'll obviously target you. Give you vigilance. Okay, so it was burn spell. Oh, Jesus. So it's Burn Spell, and next time they get to go Plague Crafter, kill our Gideon. Wow, the actual perfect draw. Swamp, a braid.
Just kidding. That was the actual perfect draw. Just kidding. Oh, Lord. <sighs> oh, good. I forgot to pl I got to forgot to uptick that just because I didn't because I don't think it's going to survive anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Wow. A braid, mind twist, plague crafter. Yep, that's pretty bad. Hmm. Well, I mean, playing this actually gets us um, Stoneforge, which is pretty good here. I can get Batter Skull, target you. I'm indestructible, doesn't really matter. Attack, just because it's free. I mean, Plague Crafter with Rekindling Phoenix is also pretty good, so it's basically like they drew the perfect perfect things against our Giver of Runes, our entire hand. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, that's pretty good. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Weird. Vigilance. Duretti, Duretti, Mom's spaghetti. Look at all those chickens. Well, we got to Yep. Sure. So I'm the good one time. <laughs> it's, it's not what we're looking for here, unfortunately. Uh, equipping seems pretty bad because then they just sacrifice their construct to kill our stone forge that's equipped. So then we have no creatures and we take nine. Um, sure. Magic is hard.
I mean, if we have to go get a, a land with this, I guess. Uh, Yeah, opponent has six basic lands, two of two of each two of each type. Seems good. Yep, that's pretty good. All right, so we're kind of hoping to land here because then we can play Gonti and Resto, which is pretty decent. it's not a land why would it be that would be ridiculous Are you ready? so we can go get a land and just ultimate price the bird because they didn't have anything to do for three mana so I don't know. And we still have Choops. Yeah, I think this is actually fine. It turns on our entire hand, so it's kind of like something I feel like we probably have to do here. I mean, the other option was Soul Ring, and I'm like, is Soul Ring better? No, because we only need four right now. And plus, we can still draw lands in the future, so. Sure. Our graveyard's looking, looking fat for Sun Titan right now. Plague Crafter, sure. Man, they just used Plague Crafter and a go for the throat to kick, take care of my Ophiomancer. Um, one, two. They didn't hit a land, but I guess like we don't have a choice. We have to kind of play Gonti here. So, Ren and six. Oh, we have Marsh Flats. Oh yeah, I'll take Ren and six for sure. Look at all those chickens.
So we can go Renin 6, play a land. He goes up to 4, which dies to Rekindling Phoenix. Uh, terminate or Chain Lightning? Probably Terminate. So next turn we can play Renin 6, get the, get the Marsh Flats. Um... I'm just attacking with Gaunti. Hmm. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Sure. I guess they kill Ren and Six here. Big chips. Okay. So we know they have Hypnotic Spectre in hand. All right, Verdante Catacomos. Uh, let's get rid of Terminate and Chain Lightning, I guess. Yeah, so you get to play Resto here. They're at a point where they can't really afford to get lands. Sure. I feel like they knew about this Restoration Angel, but mm, I'm not sure. sure. Sun Titan. Weird. It's fucking weird. Uh, no point in attacking because they're just gonna. They kind of have to keep. Oh, what? That was weird. <laughs> well, now they now they're just dead to Kai if they don't. Yeah, I was like, okay, that's that'll do. That'll do, pig.
Snap keep. Let's get a Gala Shrine with this guy because we can't get it because we can't get a, a planes with it later. So we can save the Marsh Flats because it gets planes or Swamp, whereas Burn Catacombs just gets Swamp. Twenty percent of the time, I have it every time. MC Mikey, good games, man. Good games. Your draws in game two are pretty ridiculous. What do we get here? Sword or B-Skull? Probably B-Skull. Nice. That's a two for one. Oh, I guess you're gonna kill my land too. Wow. Very aggressive. Ren and Six is a great card, especially in Vintage Cube where there's lots of fetch lands and things. I hope they don't go. Just don't go forest. Ren and Six get back wasteland. I guess that doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, that's fine. I wonder if we just batter skull here. Probably not. Let me just get in black blade. Yeah, when a card is good enough to get banned in Legacy, you know you're onto something. My entire was fixing was three. Yeah, we were like, wow, look at this perfect mana base with Forest Forest, Swamp Swamp, Mountain Mountain. We all laughed. I tried, man. I just got enough. Dude, I know the feeling. Trust me. I know that feeling for sure, dude. What would you do for another price? What's Despaccio? Do you mean Despacito? <laughs> Despaccio. That's that song about people that, about the dispatch team. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know the kids, the, I don't know the songs these kids are singing these days. Uh, let's plus. Play Gaspacho. <laughs> oh, man. I like that you said I'm not hip with it. So, like, uh, in this, in the sentence that you're, you're telling us you're not hip, uh, it's, you're, you're literally quoting Austin Powers. So that's pretty funny. Alejandro, play pistachios. That's this is good. This is good. I'm a big fan of what's happening in this chat right now. Oh god. So hold on, hold loosely. 
I'm crack your bitch. Got my shrines in the graveyard. No. No, I don't want to pay for your stupid ability. Tina, eat your ham. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, doom, doom. So hold on loosely and don't let go. Can you, uh, can you show me what you got? I should be like, what'd you get? It didn't reveal them. Big choice here. One, two, three, four, five. They have five mana. <laughs> Play Holden loosely. <laughs> Holden Lucy. Oh god, I'm just waiting. Okay, they did it. Fascinating. Oh, that's a big lady. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I don't know if we're there yet just now. Let's get rid of this and put Gideon to one. I took over a minute to decide whether or not to play Ember Cleave to swing for lethal at my last draft, and then he whined that I played my rares. <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't have played your rares, dummy. Is there really a difference between cards being suspended and banned? What do you, what's, what do you, what do you mean? You mean restricted? What do you mean? So what's suspended mean? Is suspended the thing they do on Arena? Because I don't even know. I haven't even looked into that yet. Spider skull. 
Okay, that's resolved. Black blade. Okay, that resolved. Give this dude indestructible. I'm honestly expecting the word ban to disappear from the wizard's language. I don't think that'll ever happen, actually. Yeah, that's true. If I blinked it with Resto, I actually could have uh, countered the Brazen Borrower, but I don't know what else they have in their hand. Um, not sure if that matters, but... Wow, the last two rounds of the double-double-double mana base... Well, that could be terrible. That's... Why wouldn't you just play that? I guess because you want to kill the Gideon. Sure. That's interesting. Um... No. Okay. How many Gideons are there? The answer is two. I mean, I just feel like if they had an Emrakul, they would have played it last turn. <laughs> There's no way you're sneaking in a Flame Tongue Kavu if you have an Emrakul in hand. Especially because we'd be dead. So, Dragon Lord of Tarka. Uh, oh boy. Well, on the bright side, they're getting rid of all of their creatures. So, I guess that's something. Do -do 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 Hard cast force of will. Okay, well they have no cards in hand. So next turn if we hit a land we can Aleshnorn. If uh, if we don't we can replay Batter Skull, so I mean I guess if they also draw a creature with power four or more, they just get to kill us with sneak attack. So that's cool. That seems good. Would you like to turn my mana vault into a creature? Is Historic real? Scientists just don't know. Oh wow, I'm really surprised they didn't actually... Huh. Well, this is awkward because now they can just turn my Batter Skull into a food token which kills the germ. If we play Alesh Norn, they could... It's actually terrible. Yep, that's not great. Wow, Oka was like the worst possible draw because it negates our entire hand. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. Oh god, we 
just take four here? Probably. So he's just writhing around back here. We're not dead. We really have to untap this dude next turn, though. Yeah, this is pretty bad. You okay? Wow. I mean, we have to survive here, and we also have to pay four for this, for sure. And we have to block this, so we don't actually get to blink this, just to be clear. And they're probably just going to kill us with whatever this is. Cool. Doesn't what have trample? This deck looks pretty cool. Thanks, man. Cool story. Just hope for the mind twist. You can't lose. Oh, I'll keep that in mind. Twist. Hey, Mike, sorry you had to work on your birthday. <laughs> well, if it isn't it the birthday boy, wow. <laughs> Starts as soon as I enter the frame. Jesus. Well, it's your birthday, man. People just want to celebrate with yeah, you. Yeah, it's my birthday. It's past midnight. Happy birthday, <laughs> oh Michael. God. God, they grow up so fast, you know? Yeah. Apparently. Happy birthday, Mike B. <laughs> no, I'm not going to pay four, you stupid idiot. I'm gonna go out of west to where Mike belongs. Gonna get a better skill. I'm gonna pass the turn. Gonna Mike be do do do. Gonna equip this thing. Do 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 do. I hope they don't have a friggin'. Hope they tap out for a stupid blue creature that doesn't do anything. Well, that's worse, I guess. You can just cast a better skill, though, right? Oh, can I? Wow. Strategies from Michael yeah, you B. You can live the dream and equip it with a sort of body of mine. Oh, can I, Michael? <laughs> I regret I said anything. I regret being here. I regret. I should have stayed at work. Should have stayed at work? Yeah. God damn. The birthday boy's here. Option. So exciting. Happy birthday, Mike B. When are you upgrading to Mike A? Also, chat for the next three weeks. I will only have one day off. What? Why? Christmas falls on Wednesday. I have to work that. New Year's falls on Wednesday. I have to work that. And they made us do uh, uh, four hours of mandatory overtime this week. So I can only do it Tuesday or Wednesday. So I decided to just keep the theme and do it Wednesday. So I'm working from 5.30 to 9.30 this Wednesday. That's cringe, dude. Then I'm going to run over the poker game. You're going to run over it? Yeah. Like you're going to murder all those people and run yeah. over them with your car? Exactly, yeah. That's how I collect. Oh god. That's how I win every game, man. I just run them all over. That's that's ridiculous. I don't know why they keep coming back. Yeah, well, maybe because you didn't kill them the first time. Maybe. You're a monster. Where does Mike B work exactly? What do you want the address? Address if possible. Wow, you do want the address. That's okay. creepy. Oh, dig through time? Or Oko? I work for a company called FIS. Where he fisses stuff. He's well, like, FIS. I fist we can fraud. fist it. I fist that fraud. You fist it? No, I fist. Boops. 
I'm gonna take the Oko. I think the long term gain is is better. I like that we got their Oko and we got their dig through time though. Man, I got free Magianos today. Ooh, Mazzaro's rather not Magianos. <laughs> you don't even know what you're saying. So many Italian restaurants with M in the name. Two, literally two. Okay, it's two. There's probably more than that. You don't know them, so they're not gonna confuse you. So that's not Fair even enough. relevant. Going out west where Mike belongs. Uh, no, the acronym stands for Fidelity Information Systems. Wow, you just did give them the address now? Because now they can just... I said you Google FIS is the first result. Wow, that's... Whatever, dude. And you can just see exactly where I work. Whatever, so. dude. Have fun. What are you doing with your hands? Why are you shaking I'm them? I'm having fun. Are you? Not really, no. You're not having fun? Not really, no. Hmm, that's sad. In the warm California sun. I'm not going to... I'm not going to do it. I'm going to play this. And then I'm going to put it on my boy. And then I'm going to get him. He's probably going to block. Okay, I'll gain six. Eat your dude. Do, 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 do. FIS, Frank is stupid. Hashtag got him. Wow. First result is for you because you work there. Wow, that's pretty cool. Is that because Mike B's Employee of the Month page pops up? And Mike is just sitting there smiling like this. So, Mike, I know Christmas is coming up. Don't zoom in on me. Why not? Okay. You usually love it. Sucks hearing you have to work it, but I'm curious. Do you uh, Does Santa bring you a birthday gift in addition to a Christmas gift? Who's to say? Well, I figured you'd know because it's your birthday on Christmas, so. Yeah, it didn't used to be. <clears throat> Michael, I don't know if you know this. People have the same birthday every year, man. I don't. Easiest games, ladies and gentlemen. Never didn't have it at any point. There's a lot of fraud during Christmas or something WTF you gotta work so much for. Um, well, they got somebody's gotta work on Christmas. Well, right? it's it's really because the percentage of people like shopping goes up. So sometimes we'll get uh, like not fraud alerts. Like it's fr like we'll think it's fraud, but it really isn't because people spend a crazy amount during Christmas. And in general, it just I don't know holidays more people shopping, so there's more people doing fraud stuff. There's more people getting alerts. So. But there's lots of fraud every day. Lots of fraud every day. Lots of frogs every day. Uh, Until after about 10 p.m., then everyone thinks everything seems to slow down. Mike is Jesus. Mike is Jesus. Get in there, Jeremy. This is the most aggressive germ you'll ever see. They're gonna brazen bar. No, they can't. They can't brazen bar. Her. Oh, they can bounce that? Sure. <coughs> Gonna go out of west to where Mike belongs. Let's play it again. No, I have a counter spell. They didn't. They didn't. You're right. Let's make this a uh, 3 3. Do, do, do. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That's pretty good. Yeah, now instead of taking damage, we just got an extra body. Put the bodies on the board. Mike is good. Mike is Mike is good. Mike is great. And people are crazy for any country fans. That, what? I don't even understand what any of that means. So nighttime is the best time to go fraud? Well, not really. You can still trigger an alert. It doesn't really matter too much. People just tend to not call after 10. That's because it's bedtime, Michael. People don't like their phones to ring after 9 p.m., Michael. That's when it's... That's that's phone time. That's phone time. Yeah, old people have that thing where it's like, don't call after 9 because that's... Oh, for fuck's sake, here we go. I'm just going to Emrakul us here. There we go. Oh, that's fine. Why wouldn't you just cast that? <clears throat> Oh, because they're going to kill the Oko. But then they go to 2. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So they kill Oko, lose this, and go to 2? Okay. Oko. You got it. Oko, he dead. Oko live in the trash can. Mike, can you tell us where which stores people are fraudulent at? 
I don't know where people shop anymore. Uh, I don't even know where people shop anymore. The big places fraudsters anymore. like to hit are... Fraudsters? Is that what you guys call them? Yeah. The fraudsters. That sounds like an evil... Well, like what else would you call a fraud person? I wouldn't... I don't know. I never had a name for them, but that's just a funny name. That's apparently the name. That's what, I don't know. It sounds like a supervillain team. <laughs> anyway, uh, fraudsters... Fraudsters. Ooh, they had Ulamon. As we call them. They have shown I really like to shop at Walmart because it's hard to get caught there. Uh, they also like Target. And, of course, anything online is usually pretty big. Which is weird because they're ordering it somewhere, so you'd think they would get caught easier, but somehow not. I don't know. How did I go on once to Michael B? He lives in the trash can under the sea. It's Michael B. He lives in trash. It's Michael B. Necromancy actually could be pretty good if when their creatures go to the graveyard. If they give her runes out, they don't really have a ton of things. Michael. If anyone's seriously interested in the topic, you can, uh, Vice did a really good piece on it. Or really? Something like Vice fraud, uh, Vice credit card fraud, or something like that. Frog? Credit card frogs? Yeah, credit card frogs. Oh, shit, I love credit card frogs. But obviously they blurred the guy's face, but he was like a dude who does it for a living. Credit card frogs are one of my favorite bands. Alright. Mike, does the call center ever get calls from fraudsters and you track the call to send the SWAT team to get them? Okay, um, <laughs> I, I don't work for a, ne a government agency. Uh, I work, we're just a company, so. Do you, get, do you ever get calls from fraudsters and then you realize the call is coming from inside the call center? <laughs> no, but there was a guy who was committing fraud who worked there, who got caught and got arrested on site. He was just like writing down people's credit cards and numbers. Well, I guess I shouldn't love my godless shrine. Guess I feel dumb. So Mike B isn't your roommate, or does, or do you also live in the trash, Frank? Wow. Uh, Michael B is my roommate, but he lives in the garbage can. In the, we have garbage cans in the house, like most normal people. So he just lives in that. Well, no, I have a separate one in my room. That's the one. I have several of them in my room, and I I switch from them every night. <laughs> you know, sometimes one more cozy than the other. You know. Yeah, it just depends, and also how many how many times you're taking a shit in them. So like one maybe one has less of your your feces in it than another. You know. <laughs> <laughs> This guy living in the trash can doesn't, that doesn't mean I have to shit in them. Yeah, I'm going to shit somewhere else. You're not going to get out of your trash can and go shit in the toilet. Sure I am. No, I don't think so, man. I keep a cleanly trash can. Mike, can you tell us your favorite credit card number? Could it possibly be anyone's? I'm not fussy. Wow. Mike actually doesn't even have any credit cards. He doesn't believe in them. Uh, I don't currently... Well, I have a credit card. It's just maxed out. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and I think it's also been maxed out too long, so I don't think it would ever actually work again, even if I paid it all back. Oh, wow. They're going to show and tell we're going to put children into play, and now they have to sacrifice their... Woo! This is why show and tell is a trap, boys. <laughs> uh, they could brazen bar on their upkeep. It's our upkeep, and they're going to have to sacrifice this. They conceded from oh, it's the Aro. game. Okay. That's how show and tell works. You play show and tell, and then you have to pass because your opponent gets to turn off the act. Right. So then our turn comes, and we have shielded in play. Right, but on our turn, it revives something. On their turn, they have to sacrifice a creature. That's how it works, right? Oh, yeah, but the trigger's going to go on the stack before they have a chance to respond. Right, but the trigger goes in the stack. They respond. They play the the browsing borrower. Browsing borrower. The bla brazen borrower. Oh, they just play it in like as an instant in response, right, and, and they, they stack, stack that. It. Yeah, they sure. could do that. But obviously they didn't have it, so. Well, this is why Show and Tell is a trap. Someone, someone on YouTube was like, "Is Show and Tell really that much of a trap?" Like, I mean, I feel like people just echo that, and I'm like, "No, dude, Show and Tell is a fucking trap." I think if you literally have Emrakul, it's kind of worth it. That's, but that's the it. only situation where it's like this is worth it because you you literally lose next turn. But like even then, like there are so many cards that like, just Ulamog, invalidate Ulamog it. can get exiled, and you get you usually get at least two turns of attacking, so you give them more time and stuff like that. And there's no Annihilator, so... Plus, like, even if you just untap, if you have Oblivion Ring, Anguished Unmaking, Vindicate, like, there's so many cards that just decide to Vindicate, too. Like, and your opponent gets something for free, too. So I'm like, I go Sun Titan. And then the problem with Show and Tell also is that your opponent gets to go first. So I'm like, I'll put my guy into play. You can go. And then usually you're going to have access to three mana if you're on the draw, four mana if you're on the play. And you can pretty much do anything. I'll be like, oh, okay, I'll just play Face Fetters on your guy. I'll put a six-mana guy in. I think show-and-tell is really only worth it when you have friggin' 
uh, omniscience. <laughs> That's what makes it good. Because <laughs> then you're getting all the cards. Right. Opponent learned a valuable lesson today. Don't fraud a fraudster. All right. Well, our deck is 2-0 so far. And that's pretty cool. But I think someone asked earlier, yes, we do get calls from people who are actually fraud trying to make the card go back up. That's pretty common. Do you ever get any calls from people trying to uh, impersonate you being like, hello, my name is Michael B. I would like to talk about my credit card. I don't know how they would know my name is Michael B considering I can't give out my last name on phone calls. but Because you're internet famous. But how are they, what are they going to know me by voice? If you, because you're internet famous, yeah, Michael. Touche. Yeah. If the, the same way they know who you are, I'm they, not that they, internet famous. So if any fraudsters are watching and you want to call in to Michael B, you're famous enough that people know your birthday, and that's that's kind of a big deal. Well, that's like every day. So who's right. it? What does that matter? You know what they say, man. A birthday a day. Keeps your actual Michael last B name young. is B. No, my literal last name is Bartholomew, not B. I'm adding this to the, to the to the soundboard. Bartholomew's long though and hard to uh, pronounce. I am dead inside. I am dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> it's also very very hip. Hip? Yeah. Self-loathing is real in right now. Self-loathing is real in. Man, I'm a big fan of self-deprecation, my dudes. Ooh, shriny boy. My name is Mike B. It's my birthday. How can I help you? Wow. Hi, Mike B. Wishing myself a happy birthday. How can I help you at FIS today? It's not Barbably Boo. Well, uh, it is It is here. Let's just say that. All right, you got Embereth Shield Breaky Boy. Chain Lighty Boy. All right, so basically what you're... We're taking the Lightning Bolt because it's the only Sorcery Speed card you have. Or Instant Speed card, rather. So we want to go We want you to go Sorcery, and then we give it Pro Red. ba 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 My name is Mike B. I live in the trash can under the sea. I live in the trash can under the sea. Mike, what game has your favorite revolver ocelot? Uh, it's a good question. Is it? Sounds like a shit question to me, Michael. Probably MGS2. That's your favorite Revolver Ocelot game? Yeah, if I'm going to pick my favorite game with Revolver... Like, what's my favorite version of Revolver Ocelot? You ever play Metal Gear Revolver Ocelot? I didn't think that existed. It's because you suck. I'm going to get rid of their last two cards, because they're both sorceries. Doop! Put the cards in the trash can every day. It's random, so you don't have to choose. Dude, I'm real excited about playing Disco Elysium next. I, I, was, I kept looking at it, and I was like, this game looks fantastic. I'm just going to block here, because like, they have shrines, so... Plus, next turn we get to play Gonti, and that's that's pretty cool. Also, the one thing I checked before picking that game was that if the if it's text based or if they talk, and it's all it's all spoken, and I was like, this looks amazing. The art style looks insane. Oh, so we can actually just take Dire Fleet Daredevil and then get a free spell anyway. Law, I'm playing Phantom Pain right now. First run through, or just replaying it? Cause it's been out for a while. You've been out for a while out of prison <laughs> yeah because I've never been in it so yeah my whole life I've never been I've been out of prison you go to visit a little boofy though well oh, that doesn't mean I'm in prison I just mean you're I'm in the prison I'm visiting prison there's a difference you're in it a little boofy hashtag little boofy what game is this you're talking about it's called Disco Elysium Disco Elysium yeah that's the game we're going to play after Fallen Order I don't understand the title but it doesn't matter Nobody cares about that. What does it mean? What do you mean? Wow. There's prisons under the sea? I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Destroy a tapped creature? You ain't got one of those. I'll do this plusy boy. It's part of my backlog. It's the first time through. Nice. I definitely very much enjoyed that game. I very much enjoyed that game. My name is Michael. I'm pretty sure we're going to lose to the Shrine of Burning Rage, even though they haven't done anything. 
Oh, Bilbo Biscuits. The third. 3910 damage. Put that on you. So this is four. I think we're just attacking with you and plusing you. So this is 10 damage, but it doesn't kill them. We want to attack this turn and the next turn go for the kill? Yeah, because I don't want them to play like something brutal. Hell Rider or something. I mean, you get a wolf out of it, though. I think you should st still should have. I think you should shut the fuck up. Still should attack with Gids. We'll be fine. We still got Dire Fleet Daredevil and a lots of things in the trash can. Burst Lightning, Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning. Crazy didn't shrine your dude there. Shrine my dude? Yeah. They're trying to kill us. They couldn't do it. They failed. You gain life. You're pretty good. Anybody else gain life? Are you not entertained? I think these are both a little too expensive. I'm going to take them out. Probably Miri Angel. You make some good birds. They're good birds, Brent. Very fragile, though. What? So you what? do have a fetch land, though. He's playing on five. Two fetch lands. Ooh. Ooh-wee. Butter my biscuits. Sword's probably too slow. Sun Titan's also pretty slow. Sun Titan? I like the way Batter Skull and Bane Slayer, though. And Kaya's pretty good against uh, some life gain. Gideon gives life. Gideon gives life. We have, I don't think we've drawn Soul Ring once. <laughs> we've drawn Mana Vault a bunch. All right, we'll submit like this. There's 41 in it, huh? Yeah, bro, I've had 41. But I stay, oh. I stay 41. Gonna get a swamp because I like black mana. Do, 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 do. Gonna make it do, do. Koth? So your hand is dire. F your hand's terrible. You don't have a white. You got four drop and a dire fleet. I guess Chicken's you can. pretty good against you, though. I'll kill it. Wait, what? Why wouldn't you wait a turn to duress me? What? My dude. So those two are gone. You got three cards and whatever you drew. I guess I hope you don't draw white. I think we're just taking three and gaunting here. You're also committing to taking one a turn, though. Right, but they have no pressure. That's true. Plus, we can just untap it. Plus, Gaunti gives us things. Come on, man. They're like, I don't want you to do it. Well, I'm doing it. And doing it and doing it. Doing it, doing it, doing it well. Represent Queen. She was raised up in Brooklyn. Wow, this sucks. Guess we'll take the shield breaker. I can actually literally just kill my own thing. Wait, can't you not cast that half? I can cast any half I want. It's Gaunti. Okay. I wasn't sure that worked because it's like... It's a card. I get to cast a card. Okay, so it's cons like the first part of it is also considered a card. Let's find out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What are you going to do about this chicken? Well, I'm not going to attack, that's for sure. Why not? Because then they block and then they get their chicken back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Michael B., ladies and gentlemen. Thundermont, Glory Bear, sure. Well, that looks like death. Wow, their hand went from really bad to 
Good enough. Wish I could have hit this off your stupid thing. That would have been great. I guess we're gonna try to drop, drop, drop deck a Bane Fire Angel. We didn't do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to game three. All right, now we'll try this Fairgrounds Warden. Yeah, scratch your little chest. Oh. Well. Why are you so weird about people scratching? Am I? You always bring it up. Do I? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe if you scratch less, you ever think about that? It's not under my control. Really? It's just an invol you involuntarily scratch? Yeah. That's weird, man. Never cut mine to us. What are you, insane? Maybe. Because you need to do early for a couple cards. You got sea it. lice? Is that what it is? Yeah, sea lice. Fuck, that's gross, man. I do live in the sea. I just don't like... I think mine twist is too slow. Even if you do it for two or three, it's still really good. Maybe. Maybe it's not, though. You ever think about that? Sun Titan's real slow. All right. I'll give you that. I'm going to give you that Sun Titan. Plus, you have Soaring and Mana Vaults. So like, if you get one of those early, you can just twist their hand. Well, yeah, Soaring and Mana Vaults. 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 Deal with it, you little bitch. I can't. You will. You will be. It's Yoda. When he hits the booth too hard. The booth? The booth. <laughs> yeah, no, then he dies. Hey, man, you need to go to the doctor get sea lice checked? No, man, I like it. It'll keep me in company. Gross. <laughs> no, you're dead, so... And then you're dead. Prismatic Vista. In my eyes. Prismatic Vista. And oh man of all, yeah. I still go crazy. When I look in your eyes. I feel like if we get to like batter skull things, I think we're pretty okay. <coughs> if they have Embereth and a way to kill our stone forge, it's pretty bad. Okay, that's not it. I was gonna block that dude if they did anything. Babe, I love you. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Get a Miria and make a. Yeah, I make like a birdie. that. Make a what? Make a birdie. Birdie. I still go crazy when I look in your eyes. One, two, three, four, five. A Miria. And we can still play Vampire Hex Mage. Always yes. Babe, I love you. I feel like we're going 3 out here. Guys, if you have not done so, check me out at patreon.com slash franklapore, twitch.tv slash franklapore, or YouTube memberships should be up by the time you're watching this video, so check those out as well. There's a $2, $5, and a $10 tier. Depending on how much you want to support the channel. I might be getting ahead of myself, but either way, like, this is round three, so. Game three, ground three, so. You can also check out Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. Use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. Destroy all lands? That seems really bad for them. They don't huh. have the advantage. They're never going to be able to crack Okay. Them. Okay. <laughs> that was just a good old, good old fashioned, uh. Troll concede. Let's open this trophy, this open this treasure chest, and we'll see what we get. Open it, open it. Colonian Hydra, Might Evokes, and five play points. 
What is Colonian Hydra go for, I wonder? That could actually be worth something. It's probably not. But thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out my YouTube membership perks if you want to support the channel on YouTube. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.